morning friends welcome back to my youtube channel medical classes by dr shrinidhi kumar acharya please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also please give our valuable comments in the last few classes we are discussing about the ayurveda treatment of spastic cerebral palsy and we have already com completed some of the important topics now today we will discuss the role of swedana in the management of a spastic cerebral palsy so when i talk about swedana स्वेदन स्तंभ स्वेदन स्तंभ शूल स्तंभ गौरव शीतघ्न ओके दट इस स्वेदन सो डेफिनेटली स्तंभ विल बी रिलीव्ड बै द स्वेदन ओके सो बट इन केस ऑफ चिल्ड्रन वेन यू गो फॉर सरल पॉलिसी इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर टू गो फॉर मृदु स्वेद मृदु स्वेद इज इंडिकेटेड इन सरल पॉलिसी बिकॉज सरल पॉलिसी इट सेल्फ इज अ डेबलिटेटिंग डिसऑर्डर now you can also make use of niragni sveda many times like ushma sadana can be also followed if it is possible if the kid is very small if ushma sadana and uh, covering with the blankets and all those things so that is also quite helpful now sveda is not for the shodhana purpose here here in case of cerebral palsy what we are giving sveda that is not for the shodhana uh, shodhana purpose it is only to cause the mardavatva of that particular anga okay so hasta sveda or pata sveda can be also used even valuka sveda can be also used cautiously and judiciously okay and the hypotonia is one which is marked by stambha and gaurava okay therefore stambha gaurava shitagna itself is the karmakata of the sveda now snehan and svedana is known to bend even the shushka stick we have already seen so svedana drugs are generally having उष्ण तीक्ष्ण सर स्निग्ध रूक्ष स सूक्ष्म एंड द्रव स्थिर एंड गुरु प्रॉपर्टीज एज पर चरक सो जनरली द स्वेदन ड्रग्स विच आर यूज इज बेस्ट फॉर वात कफ ज रोग बिकॉज स्तंभ गौरव कैन बी कॉज बिकॉज ऑफ कफ एंड एज वात सो ड्रग्स विच आर यूज विच आर हैविंग वात कफ प्रॉपर्टी इज वरुण कुडुची शिग्रु मूलक सर्षप वस दिन वंशी तुसी बृहति पंचमूल करंज अश्वंतक मलति एंड गंधतृण एक्सेट्रा एंड वी हेव गोट सम ऑफ दि स्वेदो स्वेदोप स्वेदोपनग ड्रग्स स्वेदोपनग ड्रग्स लाइक शिग्र एरंड बिकॉज दे इंड्यूज द स्वेदन ओके स्वेदोपक ड्रग्स सो दे इंड्यूज द स्वेदन सो शिग्र एरंड श्वेत पुनर्नम रक्त पुनर्नम अर्क यव कोल कुलत then tila masha etc so this can be also used for the purpose of swedana now what is the role of swedana in a hypertonicity especially so swedana has got the role in locally and as well as generally locally it causes mardavatva of the muscle and relax the stambha that's so that the spasticity can be get relieved then vasodilatation of the vessels which increase the circulation so it clears the shotorodha ama will be cleared and other drugs or the procedures can have their effect after cleansing the shotas this is one benefit now another is swedana also imparts a temperature heat sensation so such sensations are when continuously given to the sensory cortex so sensory cortex in turn stimulate the motor cortex and the neurospasticity can develop the nerve endings of the pain and temperature are stimulated even pain and temperature and sensory input to the brain will be increased which can helps to modulate the motor functions by formation of neuroplasticity now what are the different types of swedana that can give number one is kola kulattadi pinda sveda these are commonly we can practice shastikshali pinda sveda then churna pinda sveda valuka sveda jambira phala pinda sveda then patra pinda sveda these are the commonly used pinda uh, types of swedas another type of sneha as explained by kashyap and also by shushwata that is upanaha sveda and ashtanga also upanaha sveda now upanaha sveda is practically quite convenient to do in children and it can be applied for a longer hours now we can apply the upanaha sveda for the longer hours so how to do it very simple the paste of the vataharad drugs are prepared and then it is mixed with the amla rasa drugs because amla vishandanaha okay amla rasa drugs and with the salt is added more and as well as some amount of the fat is also mixed okay thyla is also added the paste what are the drugs that we are using paste which is prepared by the vacha shatapushpa kushta devadaru rasna then comes eranda ma, uh, masha 
or even some of the mamsarasas then sneha lavana amla dravyas are applied a paste is prepared this paste is uh, smeared over the thin cloth and then it is wrapped around the involved muscles okay and uh, over this you can even bind or uh, wrap the gandharva patra leaves that is eranda leaves also can be wrapped over it so this also is useful in the contractures if it is developed in the contract in the case of the contractures also we can use it okay so this also prevent the future development of fractures uh, rather contractures another method of swedana which we follow is a salvana upanaha sveda salvana sa lavana as a name suggest lavana is more sa lavana upanaha sveda so upanaha mixture which is rich in salt okay because salt is vishandhara and vatahara <coughs> so salt is very good vatahara actually okay amla is also vatahara compared to amla salt is more vatahara so upanaha mixture that is kakolya di upanaha mixture contains the kakolya di gana vatahara dravyas amla dravyas then anupamamsa sneha and lavana etc the drugs are helpful to relieving the pain helps in relieving the sankocha or spasticity also especially in kevala vata jaroga this is quite good so this can be also done in case of a spasticity due to cerebral palsy in children another method of swedana which we can follow which can which can be followed is pinda swedana so in case of pinda swedana a pinda is prepared especially just like uh, shashikshali pinda swedana okay a pinda has to be a portal has to be prepared so we have got different types of pinda swedas jambira patra uh, jambira portali pinda sweda <coughs> which is basically good in amavata muscular cramps avabhavaka stiffness of the joints etc another variety is patra pinda sveda which is quite good in katishula joint contractures and stiff joints another one is danya portali pinda sveda which is good in all painful conditions or contractions etc another is churna pinda sveda which can be used in case of vata kafaja disorders now all these type of pinda svedas can be also used to reduce the spasticity in cerebral palsy especially in children one type of uh, portali sveda which can be used in all the vata jarogas that is uh, kola kulattadi portali sveda okay kola kulattadi portali sveda so this is actually contain the drugs like kola kulatta amrataru yava missi then masha atasi kushta rasana ras um, rasna then tailafala then narikela etc and lastly sarsap is added karpa is added okay 16 parts and this mixture has been taken and later 16 parts of the amla kanji is added and liquid is evaporated then then the grind the mixture into the paste the remaining portion into the paste and that paste is applied okay so this is called as kola kula tadi portal is sweda this can be done then karpasa bija pinda sweda is also available this can be also practiced so this is about the swedana different types of swedana procedure that we can practice in case of a spastic cerebral palsy our idea is to stamba gaurava shitagnam stamba and gaurava has to be reduced for that we can go for different types of ruksha and other snigdha swedana procedures thank you very much in the next class we will discuss about the role of shirodhara in reduction of spastic cerebral palsy thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also please give your valuable comments thank you